Hey guys, how's it going? Well, this is a video for some of the leather uh, holster guys that have been asking about shoulder holsters and in particular Lewis shoulder holsters. <clears throat> One young fellow named Andrew has been asking about my shoulder holster collection and this is probably most of the radio guys can tune out of this right now, but for those of you who are into vintage gun leather uh, I'll just go ahead and go through some of these holsters. The Lewis Leather Company uh, was down in California and if you watch Adam 12, if you watch Police Story, if you watch uh, Adam 12 SWAT, uh, the SWAT episodes, you'll see them using uh, black also on police story, black shoulder holsters. Starsky and Hutch, uh, the Rockford Files, uh, Dennis Becker uh, used to wear cross draws. Uh, Joe Friday used to wear cross draw uh, holsters as well. I think Gannon did too. Uh, these are a blast from the past and these holsters are very, very rare. Difficult to get very expensive when you have to get them. Uh, my collection started out Starsky and Hutch really sparked my interest in uh, in the shoulder holsters. Uh, Starsky wore a Lewis shoulder holster to begin with and then he kind of dropped that and he went with what I believe was a buck or I'm sorry uh, he went with a uh, Bianchi but as he went with a Bianchi there was one point in that show where they both, both Hutch and Starsky, wore uh, Lewis leather shoulder holsters. Uh, Hutch had one with a six inch python and uh, Starsky had one with a, I believe it was a Smith & Wesson 9mm. I can't remember what, I think it was a Model 59. Could be wrong, but anyway, we're going to go over these holsters real quick and if time allows. Uh, these holsters are really, really uh, difficult to get. There are a lot of prop masters in Hollywood who are vying for these holsters. Uh, the last Starsky and Hutch movie that was made, uh, it was kind of a parody, uh, parody movie and <laughs> sorry I've got a coke here. Uh, it was a parody movie and uh, it was just a kind of a takeoff of Starsky and Hutch and uh, they had, the prop masters weren't able to actually locate a Lewis holster. It, you know these holsters are just really incredible. Um, these are the cross draws in tan leather. I'll just go through. This is, these are for 38s. Now I've got Colts that fit these guns and that's, that's why I've collected so many because I have a lot of Colt revolvers. As you can see it says Police Special. Now I've got a couple special ones as well. Such as this one. This was actually, this is a factory job and it was made so you could actually take the holster off your belt uh, without taking the belt off. If I can get the snap off, there we go. And the same works with the other one but I got my hand on my camera so it's kind of difficult. Anyway, that's a very rare holster. These are cross draw holsters. This is an older one. And you can see uh, made for, uh, let's see, I believe it's FM Pitt, San, San Gabriel, California. Under the black cross draws. This one shows a little bit more wear. You can see the spring on this one. 
This is another black cross draw. And here you go. That's a good stamping. Yeah, Lewis made holsters for uh, the FM Pit Company in San Gabriel, California, and they distributed them. This is a black basket weave. These are all right hand holsters. And you wear them on your left side. This one's just darn near brand new. And this is a left hand cross draw. Also, when you move down here, you've got your six inch holsters. These holsters will fit a uh, Chief Special, uh, Colt Agent, Colt Detective Special, and uh, Chief Special, the Bodyguard series, you know, any snub revolver of that time. Let's see here, do I need to turn that around? It says to slide your belt through both loops on here, and you really need to do that. One thing on these holsters, these are Buckmeyer holsters. And they look like, uh, they look like, when you set them side by side, they do look similar, but uh, they are different. And it takes a much thinner belt. They're as close to a Lewis holster as you're going to find. Uh, the value on them is, is very good, but at the same time, you've got to wear a real skinny belt. This one has had some work done on it. These are all right hand cross draws. And they're, this type of holster, it's called a Sheriff B32-11. This holds a larger frame, and it's also got a clip on the back, which is nice because you can just clip it off rather than take off your belt. This is actually, when I was young, I had one of the tan holsters here, and I didn't want to give it to a leather smith because I didn't want him uh, screwing it up, so I drew out a design that's as close as he ever got to it. As you can tell, it's pretty, you know, a pretty poor excuse for a Lewis holster. But the guy did his best because I, I just didn't want to let go of the holster and, you know, possibly have him, uh, have him screw it up somehow. That was before the internet existed, and uh, these holsters were very hard to find. This holster here, Starsky and Hutch, is where you'll find these holsters. This is for an automatic. You can see the Lewis LA Cal. The yoke on here is beautiful. The strap, all these shoulder holsters. This one looks very, very, very good. You can see a prop house mark on this. But one thing the Lewis Leather Company did, let me see if I can't scan out. One thing the Lewis Leather Company did is they brought this uh, back strap all the way up. I may have to go a little quicker on here. But this one, that's for an automatic. And that's a right hand draw. This one is actually a custom Lewis holster. This is Lewis. The yoke is Lewis. There's no marks, no Mars on this. But as you can tell, when you look at this one and this one, the ears are longer. And I had the maker actually uh, make those ears longer because back in the day, uh, they used to wear their pants higher 
and they were actually a little smaller in stature. So these these Lewis holsters, if you're not, uh, if you don't really know how to wear one, uh, by the way, when you put on a Lewis shoulder holster, I've had Galco, I've had Bianchi, I've had Safari Land, I've had Buckmeyer, I've had just about every kind of shoulder holster you could imagine. Uh, Conceal carry, uh, I've, I've used these, and they're very, very good. Most comfortable shoulder holsters by far, bar none, that you can get. And it's, it's in large part due to this beautiful, it's called the yoke. But this is a custom custom job. It's custom done. And you can see LA Cal on here. Now this is an authentic, full authentic Lewis six inch holster. Again, the yoke on all of these, all the yokes are mint, if not near mint. And Turn this over and you can see how well these are made. This says Lewis. This will fit a 44 Magnum, but it'll also fit a 357 Magnum Python or anything with a full underlug barrel. Uh, it'll also fit a uh, Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum. Uh, let's see here. Move on down the line. Let me see here. Uh, this is a four inch holster. Very, very difficult to find. And this does have one mark here, but that's all right. These holsters are long gone. They don't make them anymore. You can barely find them. And if you find them, they go for a very, very large sum of money. This is a right hand, these are right hand cross, cross draw shoulder holsters. Uh, let me see here. Let me go on down. This is an automatic. And this is much like the one that Starsky wore, except his was a left hand draw. And of course the back, and you can see the prop house marks. Some of these were in TV and film. This is the latest one I've got. This is a four inch Lewis, and it has a rawhide yoke. The rawhide was a step down. You can see on these Lewis holsters, when you put them on, you put them on your belt. You slide this, this goes down the, down the side of your body on whichever side the gun side is not on. If it's a left hand, this would go down the right side. You unsnap this, slide it under your belt, snap it, and then you adjust it with, with this here. But this is a very, very, it's as close to mint as you'll ever find for a four inch Lewis. And this is the, the yoke. I would say this is brand new. I don't think it's ever been worn other than me wearing it. Uh, this is a left hand draw. This is one that you will never see. I've never seen one and trust me, uh, I don't think anybody else uh, has got this one. This is a Lewis basket weave. Six inch right hand draw. And this has a special, you can see here where they did the, did the sewing on this. This is actually modified and it was modified by Lewis. Uh, on the back here you can see the snap this snaps on. That's a very nice feature. This 
holster was made uh, made after these holsters were. But this is really the holy grail and you can see the, the they put a little more work into this one. When you turn these around you can see the difference. There is a difference between the two in the snaps and in the way this goes in. The snaps, this actually goes through on the other side. Snaps on the inside, you can tighten it up if you need to. Uh, and that's the Lewis shoulder holsters. Uh, the cross draws are very, very nice. These are six inch cross draws, basket weave. One thing about Lewis is they did, they put a lot of work into these holsters. And that cylinder recess also what's called a cylinder bulge. It actually holds the gun in place a lot better. And these will fit up to a, I believe a two and a half inch uh, Sam Brown belt. These are cross draws. This is for an automatic. This is a holster that is just a spare. And actually with these Lewis shoulder holsters, uh, if you can find the material, you could probably build one of these out of that. But the thing is, that you, you have to, the spring is the most important part of these holsters. If you want to reproduce a Lewis holster, it is possible, but it takes a very, very skilled craftsman to do it. But it's possible. This is for a four inch cross draw. These all fit. I didn't know I had two of these, but I do. These all fit Colt Pythons and any holster, or I mean any gun, with a uh, four or six inch barrel. This is plain. And this is a plain. And you do have two, two separate choices for placement of the retention snap. Now this one's the rarest, aside from the, aside from the shoulder holster here, and actually the six inch, they're all so rare they're hard to find. But this is one, I believe this fits a Walther, a PPK. And it also came with a magazine pouch, clip, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to get into the politics of whether it's a clip or a magazine or anything like that. Uh, I'll leave that for the guys to argue on message boards. Uh, you can see here on the snap, made by Lewis, leather company, for and Pit. This is a very, very difficult one to find. And the yoke is like no other Lewis yoke. I believe some of these were special order. This is a Buckmeyer. This is about as close you, as close as you're going to get to a Lewis. And you'll notice that it is missing the uh, cylinder recess. But that's all right because it does hold the gun fine. If you can find a leather strap that would go all the way down, you'd have close to a Lewis holster. Although the quality, the quality's darn close. Very close. These are about the closest as you'll find to an actual Lewis shoulder holster. But those are the classics. Okay, and this last one is the same, same story. Got a little bit of ink mark here. I don't know how that happened. But this is called, uh, what is it? A 154. Where's the stamp? 
154, there we go. These were all made in California. But that's as close as you're going to find to a Lewis holster. And you can carry over the strap to it. Is this upside down? Good grief. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much, I mean, I may have a couple other, uh, a couple other holsters by Lewis, but the shoulder holster collection, got one, two, three, four, okay, hang on, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's got the rawhide rough side both in and out. Six, well let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine Lewis shoulder holsters. I'm running out of time, but this is the black one. I don't think I got to this one, but uh, this is one of the very, very hard to find Lewis shoulder holsters. And this is for an automatic, 45. It's one of the rarest that you'll find because they didn't make many in black. Anyway, uh, this is a spare yoke. And that in itself is worth quite a bit, believe it or not. That is a true Lewis yoke. Anyway, that's the shoulder holster collection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the shoulder holsters and then a couple of the buckle Myers. and then of course the cross draws and uh, Buckmeyer Clarks and that eyeball right there anyway take it easy guys I hope you enjoyed it and the leather guys who have been asking about the Lewis holsters there you go take it easy guys later on <laughs>